Hi, my name is Mark Van Cleek. I'm the CEO of Sepro. I'm here in one of our offices after hours, so it's a little bit quieter. We have two major offices around the world, and this is one of them. We produce all sorts of different kinds of equipment. We have a laboratory that I'm just walking through right now. Primarily, I think what we do is innovation. Innovation is really important to us, has been for a long time. We build crushers and screens and uh, agglomeration drums, concentrators, pumps, all sorts of things you can see in the background here as I'm walking by. But primarily, I think what's really important is innovation and having a culture of innovation. Quite a few years ago, I uh, went to get an MBA and the MBA that I wanted was a technology MBA. And so I went to the school and I applied. And uh, when I went to hand in my, uh, my money to pay for it, I got told that I had applied for the wrong MBA. <laughs> they said I should be in the executive MBA, not in the management of technology MBA, which is what I wanted. I wanted an MBA that would teach me about uh, product iterations and innovative cultures and rapid product cycles, all those kinds of things that the uh, software industry does and that the telecommunications and, you know, things we traditionally think of as the tech sector. And they told me that, no, you've uh, you applied for the wrong, uh, <laughs> the wrong uh, program. And I, uh, I asked them exactly what they meant by that. And uh, I was told, and I quote, that there is no technology in mining. So uh, I thought a few things at that moment when she told me that. I thought, well, wow, that's a pretty sad state of affairs that the people in our community actually think that our industry has no technology in it. They, I guess they think that we have picks, axes, and shovels like we've had for a thousand years, and that's how we go mine. Uh, you know, the part of Canada that we're in has a lot of mining, so really the person, you know, ought to have known better if our industry was better at communicating. But apparently not. Apparently we're not uh, so good at communicating and we're not very good at innovating. When I started my career, I realized that, uh, that I didn't see a lot of innovation. You know, when you look at a textbook from 50 years ago, sadly, it's not that different from what you see, uh, see today in a lot of mines. So the technology, uh, so I did get into my technology MBA. I slapped my check in the counter and I said, uh, you know, this is a program that I want and I'm willing to pay, are you going to accept me? And they sort of shrugged their shoulders and they did. I was 20 years ago now. We have all sorts of R&D things on the go, all sorts of uh, new products, new developments. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time to be in the industry at the moment. One of the interesting things as well is that I have a, I have a 13 and a half year old son and he was uh, thinking hard one day, a couple of years back, about what, uh, what he wanted to be when he grows up, what he wants to do. And uh, he was looking around at the various jobs and he'd, he'd had a, a day at school where the, you know, the parents came in and told the class all about what the parents did. And so he, he's looking thoughtful one day and he looks at me and goes, Dad, you know, I thought about it. And this, this CEO thing that you do, I, I think that's for me. I, 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 think, I think that's what I want to do. So, you know, you're pretty old already. And uh, I think that, you know, when you quit, which probably won't be that far off, that, uh, you know, you, I just take your job. And, uh, huh, of course, it's not quite that simple. And so I had to talk with him about education and uh, how many years I'd been in school. I think it was, uh, was it 24 years I spent in school altogether, if you start at the very, very beginning. So his eyes widened a little bit at that. Of course, that sounds like a long, uh, a lot of school when you're in grade five, I think he was at the time. But one day, if he does decide to follow my path and he does walk into an uh, uh, institution of higher learning at some point and he does decide that he wants a technology MBA, by that time it'll be 30 years after I entered the door and wanted mine. And I, I really hope that when he comes to the counter that he gets a different answer that I got, that there is no technology in mining. I hope that as an industry we've progressed in 30 years and that we we can say that the textbooks of 50 years ago aren't the same uh, as what's being applied in mines today. And we have actually a number of, we have innovation going on on water reduction, we have innovation going on on power reduction, energy reduction, chemical reduction, we've got all sorts of things going on. 
and I hope that these things come to fruition and uh, end up changing the industry for the better. Certainly we have one item that's just uh, just been completed that's going to be launched soon. That's quite exciting. But anyways, I hope that he has a, a, a better time of it than I did and easier time getting into the institution of his choice. And that innovation uh, becomes more of a standard, a standard thing than it has been for many years in mining industry. Unfortunately, it hasn't been. And with that, I'll bid you good night. <laughs>